So we have this Huawei Mobile PCB receipt from another shop. So the phone is not powering on and I dismantled the phone already. So what we are going to do here, we are going to connect it to our charger here then see how the it's behaving, see how the charging current is. So I just plugged in the battery and uh, if I connect I will see that there is a little there is a little current draw which is just 0 0.3 milliampere so that's a very tiny current draw i don't think the battery is the one consuming that little current so we disconnect let's disconnect the battery and leave just the motherboard then connect it and charge again okay if you connect it on charge you will see we are getting the three current consumption then it's going going back to zero going to three going back to zero well yeah from the look of things it shows that uh, from the look of things it shows that the the battery is not consuming current because if the battery was consuming current the phone should be able to show a normal current consumption here to show that it's even charging so it shows that the phone itself is not okay because uh, if i test the battery set my multimeter to to direct current reading to check the battery voltage The battery voltage is 3.7 which means that if the CQ was okay it should be able to consume a high current there. So what we are going to do next we connect the phone to our DC power supply. We will just set our multimeter to continuity test mode but we are going to if the phone uh, acts normal through our DC power supply then we will still do the same testing with our multimeter so i have my uh, boot cable this cable here i have my boot cable so i'm just going to connect it to the mobile phone okay so i'm seeing the uh, behavior from my DC power supply which is not normal I'll just record that with this so that I will add it add, add this later. So if you take the a look at the DC power supply, you will see that it's the DC power supply is not going off and on, but the the current, both the current and the voltage are going off and on. So the the this is a sign of a current leakage in the mobile PCB okay so this is what we are going to work on so just to test and confirm if it's really a current leakage and uh, from the behavior it should be from the v but not the vph so if i set my multimeter to continuity test mode and Perform a cold test in the red probe goes to the ground. Use the black probe to test the V bar. You will see that there is a shot in the V bar. We have zero point zero. We have zero zero two one ohm. That's totally a full shot. So now we know that we have to solve a short problem in a mobile PCB. So we will just have to completely dismantle the phone and get the, the motherboard out of the phone and uh, before we do that let me see if there is a way to before we do that let's see 
we have the shield these shields and uh, I can access them because I can just remove we have the clipping shield so I can access the components from outside without having to to dismantle the phone completely so that's what I want to do first we are going to connect our DC, uh, uh, the phone to our DC power supply directly so I'm just going to solder a GND cable and a VBAT cable So I have my uh, DC power supply props. Let's connect directly to the phone to see if we check. We connect it to our DC power supply. You will see we have that way. So that's a clear current leakage and. Uh, it's changed that way now because we connected it directly to our DC power supply without using a boot cable. That's why you are able to see the that high current reading there. So with that type of current reading, the PCB should be able to heat up somewhere. So we're going to to study that and see if we're exactly in the mobile PCB. So I will go ahead then inject voltage into the PCB so that we can observe. Yeah, it seems like the this IC here is heating up. Yeah, that, this ice is heating up though the heat is not that uh, not that yeah but you can see the ice is heating up slowly you just observe the PCB to see I hope that it should be a different component uh, let's uh, observe this area as well I will go on the inject voltage so that we will take a look at this section here. Okay, that's supposed to be a capacitor, right? Okay, yeah, seems like uh, we have the uh, 
bad boy here. Let's observe the PCD again. Okay, I think that should be the. I think that should be a bad boy. Yeah, that's a capacitor. Let's go ahead and remove it. So I will call, call down the PCB. I will call down the PCB. So I will just try to switch it on. Then see. And yeah, that's for why. That's the low there shows that everything is good. Let's see if the phone is going to go to desktop. Yeah, this type of work is not that hard. It's uh, very simple, especially when the the shopping component is easy to find. There are some phones with current leakage that will take me the whole time to find. So you cannot just see and say, okay, yeah, it's easy to solve because it's shorting. Not in all cases. And yeah, that's it. Everything is good. So it was a success. It was, uh, it was interesting. Well, I'm saying it's my right here. You can always get my courses and learn things like this. Things like this, like what we just did in this phone. You learn that in my basic level course. As you can see. So you can send me a message. You will get my basic level course from the link in the video description. The, the comment section if you are on Facebook. Or the link on my bio if you are on YouTube. You can check my basic level course. Or my professional level course get any of them or get both of them and learn everything so that's how everything is